Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Victory today is mine. Hallelujah to Jesus. We thank y'all for bringing that beautiful selection. Yes, in the old school, they, like Crystal said, they didn't put a whole bunch of words. They just got right down to business. Let you know, victory today is mine. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, so we thank the music ministry, and we are uh, praying for you guys to come across. Uh, whenever you, whenever y'all get your new songs, we'll be waiting to hear them in Jesus' name. All right. All right, let's get to the bread of life on today, villagers. Um, not nothing, just a very simple story, simple uh, uh, practical principles here in the story uh, that uh, we have, the Holy Spirit has brought to me for today. Um, let's start, it's gonna come in. We're coming out of the second book of Samuel, the second book of Samuel, chapter six. Um, it's pretty lengthy, so let's read from one to 18. I need everybody to read uh, four verses, four verses. So whenever you start, read four, and then the next person four, and then so on. So let's go. Okay. You said Second Samuel chapter six, right? One through 18. Yes. And David gathered together all the chosen men of Israel, 30,000. And David arose and went with all the people that were with him from Baal of Judea to bring up from thence the ark of God, whose name is called by the name of the Lord of hosts that dwelleth between the cherubims. And they set the ark of God upon a new cart and brought it out of the house of Anna, of, of Benanab, that was in Gabeth, and Azza and A, Ahio, the sons of Anabed, drave the new cart. And they brought it out of the house of Anabed, which was at Gabeth, accompanying the ark of God, and Ahio went before the ark. Next person. And David and all the house of Israel played before the Lord on all manner of instruments made of fir wood, even on harps and on saw trees and on timbrels and on cornets and on cymbals. And when they came to Nakon's threshing floor, Uzzah put forth his hand to the ark of God and took hold of it, for the oxen shook it. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and God smote him there for his error. And there he died by the ark of God. And David was displeased because the Lord had made a breach upon Uzzah, and he had called the name of the place Perez Uzzah to this day. Next, the next person read four, everybody read four verses a piece. Amen. I'll begin reading from verse nine. It's the New King James Version. And it says, David was afraid of the Lord that day. And he said, how can the ark of the Lord come to me? So David would not move the ark of the Lord with him into the city of David. But David took it aside into the house of Obi Obad Edom, the Gittite. The ark of the Lord remained in the house of Obed Edom, the Gittite, three months. The Lord blessed Obed Edom and all his household. Now it was told King David, saying, The Lord has blessed the house of Obed Edom and all that belongs to him because of the ark of God. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obed-Edom to the city of David with gladness. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it was so that when they that bear the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, 
he sacrificed oxen and fatlings. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. And David was girded with a linen ephod. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the trumpet. And as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Michal, Saul's daughter, looked through a window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord. And she despised him in her heart. The next person reads 17 and 18. Okay, I'll read it. They, they brought the ark of the Lord and set it in its place inside the tent that David had pitched for it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And David sacrificed burnt offerings and fellowship offerings for the Lord. Um, after he had finished sacrificing the burnt offerings and fellowship offering, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord Almighty. Amen. 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 Glory to God for the reading of his word. Amen. 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 All right. So now this, this, this sermon is about favor. Favor ain't fair. Hallelujah. 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 Favor ain't fair. All right. So as we are looking, we're seeing everyone. King David is our beloved King David. At this time, the Ark of the Covenant is a, a golden uh, box, that wooden box uh, overlaid with gold that the uh, uh, Israelites, uh, the Lord told Moses to build this. The, the Ark of the Covenant, it represented the presence of God, okay? It represented the presence of God, okay? So literally, physically, I mean, you know, God wasn't actually in the, in the little box, but it represented the presence of God. So it's very important that as a child of God and a believer that you know certain things because we see here, David was determined to go get the ark because at this particular time, the Philistines had the ark, they had stole it. But at this time, David and them had went and got it back. All right, so then when they were bringing it, to where David wanted it to go, uh, the person that was carrying it, he touched it. Now, in the old days, in the Moses days, when the Lord originally told him to build his Ark of the Covenant, he told and instructed Moses on how to handle the Ark. Amen? This is why I always tell y'all, it's very important to know the principles of the Lord. It's very important to learn your God. For yourself, read his word because it's things he don't like and it's things that he do like, but it's things that you can get in trouble by doing. Amen. All right. So, in this particular situation, the Lord told Moses that the Levites, which are what the priests, okay, the priests of God, he said they were the only ones that were supposed to carry this ark of the covenant. Okay. Now, we got to remember. Fast forward uh, back, the day from time from the time of Moses to the time of David was over 400 years, okay? So it's a long time, just like how we don't know all our history, Black folk. So, you know, they, they lost their history down through those generations, okay? So a lot of them, may, some of them may have known about it. Some of them may have not known about it, okay? So when this man... And the thing about it is God instructed the Israelites to, to not put the Ark of the Covenant on an animal back. They were supposed to carry it on their shoulders with a pole so the Ark wouldn't touch them. It was a pole that was supposed to be on the priests, the Levites, their shoulder. So they like, you know, you got three men on one side, three men on the other. God is very particular, y'all about his stuff okay he's very particular about the way he wants us to praise him the way he wants this is why when you read his word you begin to understand uh oh there is a method to this salvation you know even though 
the average person is not teaching that, okay? All right, so this man, Uza, he happened to just touch it. And the reason he touched it was only because it was shaking, because it was on the back of an ox. So it wasn't level. So he went to, you know, to try to hold it so it wouldn't fall. So when God struck this man down, he smiked this man. This man died. The Bible says he died right there on the floor. Okay, so then David, our beloved David, he felt some kind of way about it because this was his homeboy, okay? So this was his homeboy. Now, did he, we don't know it, don't tell us in here. We don't know whether David knew that these people, I don't think he knew because if he knew, he would have instructed them not to touch it, amen? But this is why it's important for us to give instructions to our children, the generation behind us. Do you see how things happen? Things happen. The enemy can come and take them out because of lack of knowledge. I see right here, it was the lack of knowledge that this man perished. Yeah. The scripture <laughs> says that my people perish because of the lack of knowledge. It does not matter who was supposed to give the knowledge. They didn't do their job. Generations are not doing their job, passing down important knowledge, things that we should know, living in this evil, crooked generation. Mm hmm. Hallelujah to Jesus. So now we see because of the lack of knowledge and God struck this man. And because they didn't have grace back then, he didn't even have an opportunity to repent. He didn't even have an opportunity to say, well, Lord, forgive me. I did not know. But that's why we have to teach our people the truth. Amen. We have to let our grandkids and everybody around us know, no matter whether they like it or not, we must preach the truth. Amen. Amen. It's not Amen. about how they feel personally. When you are trying to save their soul from going to the eternal hell, it does not matter how they feel. You let them know these things that you're doing are not pleasing to the Lord. You need to give your life to Christ so he can straighten this mess out for you so you won't have to perish. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. So now we see this man of God, he got killed because of it. So what happened then? So David felt some kind of way. He That was his homie. So he felt some kind of way. So what did he do? He commanded them to take the ark over to o, over, o, Obed Edom house, okay? Obed Edom house. He told them, I cannot put my hands on the ark of the Lord. How am I going to get it to where the palace is? So what did he do? He said, take it to this man's house. So he took it there. Then he got word back. They came and told the king, did you know? Because the presence of God is with Oren Edom. His whole household is being blessed. His whole household. The Bible said it was at this man's house for three months. So when you get an attitude with God, when something does not go your way and you don't want to pray and you don't want, you must always remember God will find something somebody else to bring the glory to. If you don't want it, Hallelujah. he will bless somebody else. He Hallelujah. will bless somebody else. So you better know when you get up in the morning to give God his honor, to give God his praise. He can take it somewhere else. Hallelujah to Jesus. 
this is not the time to be always being in your feeling and don't understand God is requiring this of us he's saying if you want my presence to dwell with you to dwell in your household to change your children get them off of the drugs take that mess out of their minds get their minds right you have to chase for my presence Amen. hallelujah to Jesus Hallelujah to Jesus. So when the king heard the news, guess what? God is blessing his whole household. This man, everything he touched turns to gold. David got jealous. David said to himself, oh God almighty, no matter what happened to Uzzah, I know you struck him down, but Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for getting angry with your Lord. I bow and humble myself. Echo shout out unto the one true living God. I need your presence, oh God. Please don't forsake your servant, oh God. He commanded the people go to Odom Edom's house and bring the presence of God back to me. Back to me. Bring it back to me. Bring it back to me. Echo shout out So you have to understand it is important to let the Lord know no matter what goes on Lord even if I don't understand it Lord to God be the glory please do not take your presence away I will get up and worship you I will clap my hands I will stomp my feet I will say hallelujah hallelujah you can't sit around like you in the VIP section of the club this ain't no VIP God is commanding his children to worship him, to praise him. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Clap your hands and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. This ain't no VIP Thank you, generation. People walking around and they're giving God the crumbs. How dare we give God the crumb? Give him the leftover. No, you should have a fresh anointing, a fresh praise for him every day you wake up. You ought to have Amen. a fresh praise coming out of your mouth every morning that he gets you up. He put the breath in the lungs for us to be able to function, still remaining in the land of the living. We got to understand, saints, you can't just give God the crumbs. You got to give him the first. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I feel yes, like Lord. saying thank you. thank you, Jesus. Giving him a little sorry. Thank you, Jesus. Giving him no, no. He's the king of kings, and he's telling us, don't think that you're VIP because he can take his presence and bless somebody else. Amen. Amen. My Lord, my Lord. Blow their house up. Blow their finances up. Blow their kids up. Have and you true. sitting there and not giving God what he deserves. Giving him all of that old. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No, you got to start learning. I must praise God. I must give him the first. Amen. He is not the yeah. side piece. Amen. And thinking we doing something. No, God is saying on this day today, get it together, get it together, because the presence can leave you totally. Jesus, have mercy. Yeah. Because there's so many believers running around here giving God the scrappings, giving God the scraping, giving God the crumb. When he said, if it had not been for me on Calvary and my blood washing your sins away, where would you be right now? Who would you be right now? Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 
So we must understand, you know, it does not matter. Even if you're just re- uh, getting taught and learning, even the babes in Christ, just know, take it to another level. You got to make sure that you're putting it in perspective, knowing that you God sees everything, just like David came to his senses and he realized, oh no, they are getting blessed over there. I need to go ahead and up my game. Thank you, Jesus. So then we see when David came to his senses and they brought the ark where it's supposed to be going, then his wife, his wife, Micah, Saul's daughter, she looked at him and he was dancing before the Lord because he was so happy that the Lord did not forget him. He was so happy that the Lord told him, you are still my servant. You are still the apple of my eye. He was so happy. God did not just forget him. So he was leaping. Bible said he was leaping and dancing before the Lord. Many of us don't even want to raise our hand. Many of us can't even say hallelujah. Many of us can't just go ahead and give God the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What are you yes, waiting Lord. on? Forgive us, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So David came to his senses and he said, oh my God, so then the woman, the lady, she got angry. She got angry. Bible says she despised him for doing that. She felt embarrassed. She felt embarrassed. You are the king. Why are you out there dancing and carrying on like that? And, when, and I know David told her, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen <laughs> nothing yet. Calm hey, your nerves. Calm your I, nerves. Because you ain't seen nothing yet. I, what I'm about to do for the Lord. Hallelujah. There has to be some more fervor in the child of God. All this lazy praise and lazy praying and lazy, lazy, lazy. God is not pleased with it. He's not pleased with it. He's not pleased with it because we have to understand this thing is serious. He is a God that commands us to worship and praise him. Raise your hand if you know that. Amen. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. And when you don't set time aside to give God the glory, to get up, I'm talking about laziness. We coming against the spirit of laziness right now. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of laziness, slowfulness, leave the child of God. Leave the child of God right now. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, because God is looking for people that is going to open their hearts up to him, not just when you feel like it. Yes, sometimes you may not feel like it, but how many times are you really leaping? Compared to how many times you don't feel like it. Hallelujah to Jesus. So this is serious business. This is serious business. The Lord, he wants the children of the light to understand when you worship him in that manner, when you take side a time away and say, I'm just going to really praise and worship today, at least 20 minutes. God is taking notes. God sees that. He receives that. But all this lazy stuff, barely getting a hallelujah out, barely doing this, barely doing that, barely doing it, when every day, he wakes us up. He gives us brand new mercy, brand new grace to cover us for that day. Who would not leap for a God like that? Amen. He said we're saying it with our mouth, but we have to learn how to demonstrate it. 
Everybody get up. Get up out your chest. Loosen yourself up. Wherever you at, get up. On your feet. On your feet. Everybody up. Everybody up. Yes, we're on the Zoom call, but guess what? God still wants praise and honor and glory. That's no excuse. When the man fell and the Lord smote him, he did not know, but the people perished because of the lack of knowledge. Raise your hands to Jesus. Give God two minutes of praise. Two minutes. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody up, up on your feet. Up on your feet. Up on your feet. We praise you today, Lord. We say, Hosanna. Hosanna. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. God been good to us. And we want him to understand we really appreciate it. We show it to him. We demonstrate it to him. We don't just say it with our mouths. Hallelujah. Raise your hand to Jesus. Raise your hands to the Most High God. God, we ask that you don't take your presence away from us. Father, we ask, bring us all of the glory. Bring us all of it. All of it. All of it. Everything. We want it all. We want it all, Jesus. We want it all. We want it all. We're not going to take it to over in Edom house. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. All right. Hey, glory, glory, glory. Yes. We don't want the Lord to take his presence and take it somewhere else. Because we being lazy about it. This ain't no VIP section in the club. You don't get to just sit and give God no crumbs. When he's waking us up, taking care of our finances, taking care of our children, taking care of everything. Giving us new mercy, new grace every day. Before our feet even hit the ground. And no matter what's going on in your life, you have to take out time for the Lord. And you have to engage. It's not about, it's not good enough, not for the king of glory. He deserves your very best. We can go to these uh, football, basketball games and get up and yell and scream. We need to be doing that for the Lord. Every now and then, you got to leap like David. The Bible even said he leaped till his clothes came off of him. That's why this man was so blessed. Don't y'all see that? Don't y'all see that? God will lift you up and he will exalt you among men when you give him what he wants. We have to acknowledge if we're going to be the child of God and we following the true living God, we our praise much match what we're saying. Our worship has to match what we're saying. If we're saying, oh, Lord, we lift you up, oh, Lord, you're this, you're that, you're this, and you don't even open your mouth and say hallelujah. Your praise and worship has to match what you're saying about your God. If he is Jehovah Jireh to you, if he is Jehovah Nissi to you, if he is Jehovah Rapha, it should show in your praise and worship. Not only when we get a blessing, it should show every day. You let the Lord know, I'm not going to give you no lazy praise every single day. At least once a week, 
I'm a leap like David did. I'm a dance before the Lord. I'm a let loose. I'm a let loose. I'm a let loose. So we got to understand this, that this is what the requirement of the Lord. This is what separates us from the world. This is what separated the children of Israel, the way that they held God and demonstrated their praise and worship. What did it say? What did it say? They had all kinds of instruments. They had, they had instruments made of fur. They had hearts, soul trees, timbrels, cornets, and cymbals. They had it all. They came up in there, and what it say? What it say? It said it was, he gathered how many? How many? 30,000 men. 30,000 men marching and playing these instruments and letting them know this is the king of king. Amen. So our demonstration has to show that. Hallelujah. He, this is the king of king that we're going to worship. So ain't nobody going to worship the king of kings on my hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Or just sitting there staring. Hallelujah. <laughs> our demonstration in our praise and worship, it has to match what we're singing. It has to match. The, the, the God that you're praising and worshiping, if he is the king of glory, if he is all of these things that we proclaim, our praise and worship has to show that. Do y'all see that? They, it was 30,000 of them. They came marching. They came marching with the, with the Ark of the Covenant, letting the whole world know. All is no, I could imagine the beautiful sound that it made with all of these instruments, okay, playing before the King of Glory. Amen. We can do better. And that's what the Lord is saying. He would not bring me to this if it wasn't, if he knew that you were at your all, you was giving your best. <laughs> you have to understand. You have to understand in your, in your spirit that we, you have to start understanding very clearly that this is the true one God. He is real. He hears, he sees everything. You have to start understanding in your head so when you got to be conscious of that, so when you go to pray, when you go to worship, your worship and praise will be at a level, it will be your very best. It won't happen overnight, but the more you do it, the more it will get to be your very best. But a lot of children of God are not practicing it enough. You can't always be at the bottom of the totem pole. We can't always be, oh, well, thank you, Jesus, for this. M maybe among ourselves, but in your private time, you have to demonstrate praise and worship before the king of glory. Amen. And when we come together, like we do on Sundays and whatever else, we have to demonstrate that. You can't just come and not engage. You can't just come and not really give your focus and your attention for that hour or whatever time frame it is to the Lord. Whoa. Like Deacon has said this morning, when she came on to praise and worship this morning, she said she had things in her head before she came on. And as soon as the praise went to another level, when the praise and the worship went to another level, everything she came in the room with went to the back of her head. She didn't remember it. She wasn't thinking about it. God will help us. The Holy Spirit will help you know, with stuff like that, but you have to understand, you have to go ahead and participate. You have to be willing to let loose and let go. Like King David, King David, and who cares? Who's going to be a Micah? Who cares? Too many Micahs around here. 
hating on somebody because they praising God, looking at them crazy because they praising God. But I tell you what, it did not stop King David because he went on and praised God until he his clothes fell off of him. Amen. Praise them out of his clothes. So we have to understand, you know, when we're talking about God is mighty and he's this and he's that, and you giving him some little Kool-Aid clap. No. Yeah. You, you, that, that what David said, well, what did Paul say? Whatever you do for the Lord, he said, do it with fervor. Excitement. Intensity. Because he's the one true living only God. So our praise and worship, it has to line up with that. Is everybody understanding this? Amen. Raise your hand if you um, if you get in what I'm saying. Amen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And like I said. <clears throat> he's not requiring that every day, but it has to come a time in your life, in your personal devotional time that you got to learn how to cut loose. You know, you when you pray into God in your own personal time with the Lord, you know, you shouldn't always be praying on the move. Sometimes you got to go to your altar and lay there. You know, praying on the move, praying in the grocery store, praying over here, praying over there. But it come a time you have to focus and bring your spirit, bring your mind. Everything has to shut down around you. Because I'm going to tell you, God is blessing us tremendously. You hear all these praise reports going on in, this morning, last week, all this month, all last month, all these praise reports. God is doing some miracle signs and wonders in our lives. And I praise and worship. It has to meet that. He's not giving us just no bubble gum uh, blessing. He, met, he working people finances out. He working people health out. He working a lot of stuff out for us. Not no little bubblegum stuff. Major stuff. Amen. So he deserved major praise. Hallelujah. Cool shout out to I'm going to go ahead. And just, I just want y'all to know it's important to God, guys. It's important to your God that you bring and present yourself and, you know, really focus in and zero in once a week, once every other week. Let loose. The, remember the word that David was leaping. He danced before the Lord until his clothes fell off. You have to learn how you got to go in the paint with the Lord sometime because sometimes he waiting for you to do that so he can really talk to you. Amen. Mm -hmm. You looking for this answer. You looking for that answer. Well, I'm praying. What some? No. You you praying, but you're not praising and worshiping. Praising God and worshiping God can chase the devil off of you. It will chase the devil out of your life. It will chase the, it will loose. It will loose his grip on your children's minds. Amen. When you praise and worship God from your belly. Amen. When you cut everything out, when you turn everything off, and you say, Father God, it's just me and you right now. It's just me and you right now. I'm not coming to ask for nothing, but I come to give you some honor. I'm coming to give you some praise today. I'm not asking you for nothing today, but Lord, I want you to know that I thank you. I want you to know you've been better to me than I've been 
been to myself down through the years. My God has been good to me. He stood side by side on every situation I had to face, every hurdle I had to jump over. He was there for me, and I just come to say, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank I said, you. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, I Jesus. thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, for thank everything you. that you have done for me. I would be lost in my grave. I would be lost. I would be lost if it had not been for the Lord on my side. Oh. Where would I be? Where would I be? Where would I be? Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Amen. Thank you. Every step of the way, he was with me, and he deserves the honor. He deserves for us to come to him and just say, I just come to say thank you, Jesus. I just come to say, you are marvelous. You are glorious. You are my all in all. I thank you. I thank you. I worship you. I praise you for everything, for what you did for me, what you did for my ancestors, what you did for the generation behind me, what you're doing in my life now. What you did in the past. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I cannot praise my God, and I will let nothing separate me from giving him the glory, for giving him the honor. He's been too good to me. He's been too good to me. Amen. Hallelujah to Jesus. All right, clap your hands and give God some praise. Hey, hallelujah. 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 I'm going to go ahead and pass it in Jesus' name. Hey, Coach Shalabo, Deacon is Miriam. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Just thanking God for that word today. You know, and it's amazing because I, I was thinking of the song, I think Fred. I mean, you sung that I'm going to dance like David danced. David's praise. David wasn't a perfect man, but he was a man after God's own heart. And he believed in praising the Lord. And God says that we should come to him and worship him in spirit and truth. And David is a perfect example of that. And so I thank God for just the message today and his word and just reminding us of the importance of coming to him and giving him our best and our sincere praise and worship. And I just thank God for that because, you know, I, I love the Lord and I love worshiping in him. And there's nothing that I enjoy more, you know, than worshiping him and praising him. Amen. He honors our praise. And I just thank yes, he does. Amen. I just thank the Lord for that. Amen. Good. That that is all that I. I mean, there's you can't add or take nothing away from the Word of God. But I just thank Him for the message of David and His praise. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Crystal. Get shut up, Oh, glory. Mm -hmm. Amen. Man, amen. I thank and praise God. Thank you. Um, I thank and praise God that this word came forth today about the praises of David, but also it, it was reminding me how when God blessed me financially, my first inclination was I wanted to go and tell my sister and the Holy Ghost is what spoke to me and said, have you praised God? Have you praised them? Have you and it wasn't that I was being neglect yeah. neglectful. It was just in my flesh. That was the direction I was heading. But I thank God for the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost is what keeps you in line. And I and I thank and praise God that the moment it came to my mind, I started jumping and saying, hallelujah, Jesus, because it is God that does all these things for us. It is even God who blesses the messenger to bring the message. So I yeah. thank and praise God for that on today. He is not neglectful towards us. He tells Coach us what we need. And I thank you, Jesus. I, yes. thank, I thank you, Jesus, for that instant 
correction because I yes. was wrong. I was wrong. Thank you, Lord. You frozen, Crystal. Okay, log, log out and log back in. You frozen. Crystal. All right, she frozen. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead. On We're going to move on. She's going to come back in because she done froze up. Okay, uh, go ahead, Monique. Praise God, praise God. I'm just so grateful to God for the word on today. I yeah. thank God because, hey, that being in God's presence is where, where it's at for you. I'm telling you, it changes your life. It, it changes situations. It changes things in your, your life, your family's life. I'm telling you, God, work out things. Imagine that's coming. So I just thank God for that one today, you know, because sometimes we need to be shaken to waken. You understand yeah. me? Because, you know, you get carried away with these things of the world sometimes. And, and you know, like working and not realizing, hey, that stuff, going, all of those things are going to pass away. The only thing that is going to matter is what you do for Christ. Yeah, that's the only Amen. thing that's gonna matter. That's the only thing that's gonna gonna let you make the rapture, the things that you yeah. do to Christ. You handle His business, and He'll handle yours. Hallelujah! So I thank God for this word on the day. Y'all yeah. pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Crystal, did you want to finish because you was frozen? <clears throat> Amen. <clears throat> Oh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Is it working now? Yeah, it's working now. Is it okay? Thank you, Jesus. I don't care. The enemy don't want me to get his praise, and the enemy don't want me to say it because sometimes when you say things, um, you hurt your own feelings. Because when <laughs> God told me, wait a minute, you know, you get ready to praise a human being, you need to praise me. But you know yeah. what? I am not ashamed. I'm not ashamed, you know, to tell it. Tell it. That's right. Tell on the devil. When show up, you got to tell on them. So when Amen. you when you find but then you realize and you allow God to correct and back in all right. It's, we out for that on today. We thank you and praise God because look at how uh in the word how God uh killed Uzzah and David felt some type of way. But then yeah. when he saw how God was blessing the other household, he then became jealous and wanted that blessing. He went and got him. And when he went and got the Ark of Covenant, then he began to dance, 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 yes. dance, 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 all night. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. So I just want to praise God for today, for his yes. love and his tender mercy and his loving kindness. Y'all pray my strength in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 All right. Okay. Yes. When he saw how Odom Edom house was being, everybody went and told him how they was being blessed. Blessing it, it, the whole household for three months. Okay. All right. That'll make you jealous and get up and do something. Amen. TT. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I thank you. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Good word. That was a good word. Look, I, that thing you said when you said God can't be the side piece. That's Look, right. You said something when you said that, that. You made a real play right there. That was yeah. On level. That was on the younger person level. No, God cannot be your side piece. He got to be first. And I thank That's praise God for that. Y'all can say the prayer of strength. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Kamiko. Oh. Can you hear me? Yes. Listen, I felt like I got a tongue lecture today because sometimes I don't even know how, I ain't going to say I don't know how to pray because I'm lying. Sometimes I don't pray hard like I'm supposed to. And I mm -hmm. felt like I was getting a tongue lecture today. But thank you for that tongue lecture because I know I got to pray harder because God yeah. has been continuously blessing me 
forever and ever and ever. Even when I wasn't reading the word and hearing right. the word, right. he was still to me. So it's like Amen. now that I give God my time and I trust and I believe and I just mm-hmm. keep his, him in my heart at all times. Mm-hmm. My life changed a lot, you know. I calmed yeah. down a lot. I used to let people get to me all the time. None of that. No more. Right. Done with it, okay? Like, yes. I'm just doing what I got to do for me and I just love myself. I'm sorry, but I have to love myself because I never had a chance to do that because I was right. always loving everybody else, taking care of everybody else. Now, I know I had to sit back and realize I got to take care of me. Amen. So that's what I'm doing now. And God's blessing, blessing me to take care of me. And I'm just so happy that I keep him first because yeah. without him, I don't know where I would be right now. Without Amen. Him, I don't know where I would be right now. I'm telling you. So I thank God every day I wake up. I thank God every night I go to sleep. I thank yeah. God every day I put a piece of food in my mouth. I thank yeah. God I have a good kid that she's not fresh and rebellious and I be wanting to jack her up like a jack. Right. Up, but I don't I don't have to do that. So I thank God for my peace. Amen. Because I've been through a lot like everybody else on this call. And I'm telling you, it's just a great feeling to just know that you got God on your side. No Amen. matter what you do. Amen. No matter what you do, you God is always on your side. So yeah. you just got to give him your time. You got to pray harder, like you said today. And you got to mean it. You can't do yeah. like, um, what you call it? Like, when people talk to you and say, oh, hi, like a dry high. You can't give God right. a dry high. You have right. to um, worship him. You yeah. got to give him the glory because yeah. he gives us the glory every day. Yes. So on that, um, I understood everything you said today. It really touched my heart because, like I said, I felt like I was getting tongue lashing from the Lord. But it's okay. <laughs> right. To God be the glory. God be the glory. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for this word today. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. He deserves it. Amen. Okay, DP. Gabrielle and DP, uh, are you there? All right, we'll let them get some time. Shaquavia, can did you want to say something? Shaquavia. Um. Good morning. I wanted to say thank you for the word that we received today um it's actually a learning experience when you're trying to um praise god and actually worship god to like understand everything that you're saying and because some days i do slack on praising god or i feel like i don't give as much effort as i should give with praising god so it's a learning experience. Yeah, it is. I just got to go harder. Yes, amen. And you know, for the babes in Christ, what can help you is put on the praise and worship music. That's what stirs up your spirit, okay? That will help you get to a place where then you can start getting comfortable with raising your hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And really focusing really focusing on what you're doing. Put that praise and worship, that helps you. Okay, all right, all right. So DP, are y'all available? Gabrielle? I don't know what they must be doing with the baby. Okay, so go ahead. Um, Who's this, CSL? Okay, I don't know. that might be me. No. Okay. That's our brother, How Jermaine. you doing today? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay, ma'am. Okay, God bless you. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I just wanted to um thank God today for allowing me to uh be able to uh to view uh to hear and listen to this ministry. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, I could relate to some of the things that you were saying today. Um, I need to work on praising God more like David until my clothes fall off because uh, <laughs> that, that, that right there was. That was a show, no sign that God was listening to God heard him when something like that yeah. happened. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, I got to look at the man in the mirror and, you know, get him more praise so I can get to that point. But, you know, outside of that, you know, um, 
I'm just taking it day uh day at a time, and I'm just thanking God for the good, the bad, and the ugly because at the end of the day, it builds your character. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Um, I've never had anything come to me easy. So when anything that happens to me that's a blessing, I always praise him first because I know that's what yeah. it came for. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. Yes. yes. Well, you know what? That's a good thing. Like you said, things don't come easy to us. And that's why. You know, and then sometimes when things come easy, it can really put you in a, um, like you can really start getting lazy about praising God because, you know, it's not something that you're looking at. Oh, my goodness. You know, uh, uh, I got a new car or, or, you know, if it's not something that really could change your life, you know, sometimes we. We don't put as much on the little things, but to God, a blessing is a blessing. That's right. I thank God for that quarter, that 25 cent I found. Just like yeah. if I was to get $1,000, I thank him the same way for each because like you said, a blessing is a blessing. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. Yes. Glory. Okay. Yes. Okay. Are you finished or you wanted to say something okay. else? I'm finished. God bless you. All right. God bless you, too. Okay. All right. So I guess, uh, DP, are y'all available? Mm, where they at? Okay. Uh, go ahead, Deacon Ruben. Yes. I just want to uh, thank God that he's always, you know, that word on today. It was just so amazing because it just, it just lets you know that, um, you know, that praise and worship, how important it is, you know, yeah. uh, not just, um, you know, just thank God from the heart, you know what I'm saying? That not just take things for granted, like, oh, I, like you said, this is not the VIP, you know, people take stuff for granted, you know, every day we're here and we're waking up and, you know, looking around at the things that God done, that he's doing, and thinking about what he's going to do, you know, just mm -hmm. thank God that he never leave us on forsake us, you know, like, and I, I remember like being like King David, I, oh my gosh, it's so good. That's another thing about serving this Lord that we serve, this God that we serve, this is the only and true God. Nobody else can do what he do, you know. Right. I remember times that he do stuff and I would just be somewhere in a room by myself jumping around jumping and crying and just like just going out like ah like thank you like you know like it's just amazing because that's that's who he is you know like and and it's good to be able to remember those things too you know just like how we read the word we read the word there's something that happened thousand years ago but it just kind of reminds you like that's how we supposed to be still two thousand twenty five hundred years mm -hmm. later we did he's still the same that he was yesterday he is today that you know he um he just bring that praise and worship to him and give it to him because he he likes it you know who who, yeah. who don't who don't like you know <clears throat> uh, you know you you bake a cake for somebody and you do this for some make them a meal and you want them to be like yeah boy it's so good oh yeah right. thank you you know like or you'd be like oh man this oh man this turkey all right you know, yes. this, this ham and cheese sandwich is like, no, you're like, yo, thank you. I was hungry, boy. You fed me. Hey, hey. <laughs> God is awesome. You know, you, you know, he, he, you look around and he healed us. You know, we could have been dead from the COVID, you know, got a mm -hmm. roof over our head. You know, we got the food. I go in my fridge right now. Look, I mean, he do so many things, you know, the health, being in the right mind. Amen. I it's a guy that come to my shop, uh, the wife bringing with him. I remember him. He used to come get cuts and be talking. Now something happened where he lost. He, he, he don't, um, I don't know if it's the, uh, dementia or, or something. Uh, he had some operation in the, um, and the stuff they put in there to put you to sleep, mess with him. So now he does it. He just there sitting there. Mm. He's alive, but he just sit there. He don't know. Who, 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 you, who you are or what he do. He don't know yeah. nothing. I'm like, man, 
just to think that, you know, we in our right mind. It's a beautiful thing. You know, you, you know your you know your family. You know, you Amen. know your sisters and brothers, you know, for us to know the one true God, that's a beautiful thing. But it, it, it I feel like David, man. I just thank God that um just thank God how beautiful and wonderful, how good he is to us, you know, and not to treat him like a side piece, treat him like the main course. That's right. <laughs> that's right. He, yeah, don't right. To, he don't take to that well. He uh, will not be the side piece, okay? No. Hey, hallelujah to the hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We serve a God who refuses to be two-time. If you don't like it, take it up with him. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So let's give God a hand praise for this beautiful, wonderful, glorious word. I mean, I know it, it was a little honey. Whoa, Holy Ghost just came through and took over. So it is something, it's very, it's very important to the Lord, okay? When the word of God is delivered like that with such intensity, that means it's important to the Lord, okay? So when you in your um, alone time, you know, just start trying to, you know, like I said, everybody, you need to put the praise and worship music on and take out a day each week and where you just meet the Lord, you know, at least for 20 minutes, you know? And, and be and, and make sure you're focused. Make sure you shut down everything around you, and it's just you and him. Because he's definitely requiring this from his children, and it's things that you know God has His own reason why He wants us to do that. Okay, this is a way He can talk to you. It's a way He can tell you things. You don't have to. You know, a lot of time people. You know, they look to other folk for everything, but you don't look to God because you're not building that closeness. You got to build that closeness where you start feeling like, yo, I got to go check in with the Lord on this to see what he got to say. And, and you know, it's not going to start off all the time in a conversation. You start off just being there by yourself. God is listening, but he may not respond to you right away. It's going to take some time. So, but that don't mean you stop doing it. You keep it going, okay? And like I said, the kick start to it all is the praise and worship music. That's what's going to get you starting to get custom and starting to know, okay, it's time, it's time for uh, it's time for uh, it's God's time right now. Me and the Lord. You go get your music and you lay before the Lord. You give him, you give him praise. You raise your hand. You know, this is what you have to start practicing, practicing so that when the time comes, you don't always have to beat yourself up. You will just start being used to doing it. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. All right. So villages today was a powwow. It started off in the praise and worship this morning. It started right there. That's where it started. It ignited. <laughs> right there. Then it just set it off uh, when, when it came time for the word. But, you know, we thank God and we thank him for his clarity and his direction in our lives because this is going to do nothing but help us, help you grow. It's going to help you get closer to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And this way, you won't have to be looking for this, that, this person, that person. No, you're going to be accustomed to going to God. Amen. Amen, amen. All right, without further ado, we're going to go ahead, Sister uh, Deacon, as you can go ahead and do the prayer for the uh, sick and shut in. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning, Lord God, just thanking you for your amazing grace, your yes. mercy, your kindness. Father, we ask that you would forgive us, Father, of our sin, sins that we unknowingly knowingly, sins of omission and commission. Forgive us, Father. Cleanse us and make us whole, Father. And Father, we come this morning and we lift up those, Father God, who are sick among us. Lord, we ask for healing. We ask that you would touch yeah. body, mind, soul, spirits today, Lord God. And whatever is ailing in the mental, physical, or spiritual realm, Father, we ask for your healing, Lord. Mm -hmm. That you would touch, Lord God. 
Let us feel your presence, your Holy Spirit, Father God, moving inside of us. Father, we ask that you would touch our loved ones, Father God, those who are standing in need today. Some may be home, homes, Lord, hospital situations, Lord God. Yes. Wherever they are, Lord, you know them each by name. <laughs> Everything about them, Father God, and what they stand of today. Lord, you know our body. You know us inside and out for you. Mm -hmm. create. We are wonderfully and uniquely made with God. There's mm -hmm. a scientist, no father. We yeah. ask that blood would, would line up, Lord God, and that it would function and flow through our veins, our arteries, blood vessels. We ask that it Cell in our body, Lord God, body, mm -hmm. and operate, function as design, Lord God. Yes. A neuro neurological problem. mm -hmm. problems, Lord God, malfunctioning, heart conditions, Lord God, diabetes, Lord God, cholesterol. You're able, Lord God. Those yes. are attacks today lord god and anxiety lord yes. god. man those conditions lord to come into obedience yes lord god and align with your word today lord god mm -hmm. healing in jesus mighty name lord we receive it a and a yes amen amen Glory, glory. Thank you for that prayer. So the sickness shut in. Now, uh, real quick, I just want to on Thursday, if you didn't, if you missed Thursday night prayer, I just want to fill everybody in real quick. Um, um, we're gonna have, we're gonna start, um, we're gonna do a revival in Virginia. We're gonna um the Holy Spirit is, is directing me to go to Virginia to do a revival. Uh, people need the Holy Ghost. People have to get filled with the Holy Ghost. So um, we we haven't come up with the. It's going to be like in when it starts getting warmer outside. Um, so it, it's not going to be until maybe April or May or June. But we got to start planning it now, guys. Uh, Deacon uh, Ruben and Monique are looking into it to see if maybe we could do it at the beach because we won't have to worry about paying for a room you know, the expenses for a room. And then we, cause you, if we get a room, we're going to need like a baptismal pool. Monique saw one, me and Monique been looking them up. And even still, even if we do it at the, um, the beach Mo, I still want to purchase that pool because I'm going to be traveling I, to yes. all y'all villages. I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to start evangelizing. So I'm going to need that pool anyway for the okay. future. Okay. okay, so this is why everybody needs to really start getting, you know, your relationship with the Lord tight because um, there's coming a time we might, we, we might not be able to meet on the Zoom like this every Sunday, okay? So you got to know that you can still be saved, okay, and not go backwards, okay? So um, things are moving because God is soon to come back and his work has to be done. So... Um, all right, so we that's what the plan is right now. We want to try to have it at the beach. Um, if we can have it at the beach, we'll have to worry about renting a tent and chairs, right? Tent, a will, tent. Will we, will we have to contact the city for that? Like, do we pay the city or get permission? Well, that's the what that's that's what Monique that's what and Ruben are supposed to be doing. Okay. We're working on that. Yeah. Um it's a um it's a beach down the street from my house. It has like a um uh, some type of shed. Right. It's ocean view. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, that's what we're working. Monique and Deacon Ruben, they're working on that. If anybody else know where we could get chairs from, or if they got a place there that has, you know, seating, then that's fine. And then we'll come up with what you know what we could serve maybe like as food maybe like some bottled waters and i don't know y'all think that over y'all get together on that because i got i'm worried i gotta worry about other stuff so y'all have to get together and make you know all of this other stuff happen 
um, mm -hmm. as far as the tent, the chairs, the what you, the food. Um, because what we're gonna do is gonna be, I wanna do it for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I just wanna um, do like Sunday will be like the normal service. You know how we do on Zoom. And then Friday and Saturday is probably gonna be, the, we're gonna structure it the same way we have it on the Zoom, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, if, if Sister Monique and Crystal, they can sing a song come Sunday. But Friday and Saturday, it's going to be like Bible study night, okay? Friday and Saturday is going to be like Bible study, okay? And then we'll have an altar call because people got to get a life to Christ and they got to get filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And right now, Amen. are you looking at a three or four day revival? Like you said, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? No, not Thursday, just Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Amen. Okay. Yeah. Friday, well, Saturday, and Sunday. And we don't want to really do it around a holiday because that's when people make plans already, you know, to go out of town or whatever. So mm -hmm. I was thinking like when the, when the, when the, um, cause I, I will have to fly. So I, I you know, I don't want to fly. I, I'm not doing it when it's cold. When it starts getting warm, then we can, you know, but, but that's what I'm saying. We got to get it together because that's in April, April, May. Right. Um, I was just wondering, I I'll happy to work with um, right. Chris and, um, and uh, Deacon and those guys up, up in the area, because I, I was wondering, like, when you contact the city or go out to, like, Parks Department, if you can find a location, one that's accessible, that would be on a bus route or something, and then one that also, uh, if we could get a shelter that has electricity. Mm -hmm. that would oh, yeah, that's smart. Yeah, with electricity and, mm -hmm. and with one of the party event places where they would bring the tent out set it up and and we would just be responsible until they pick them up for the chairs you know and then and then we may have to do like a u-haul rental so we could load them up at night unless somebody was going to allow to camp out there overnight you know something like that but i'm happy to work with sister monique and and um Proven, you know, um, and anything that I can do to help, you know. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And Monique, Monique, you got her phone number so y'all can call, keep in contact. Yes. Um, and then, uh, uh, if, if I mean, everybody can put forth effort to do something. Amen. 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 I was going to say, um, I can cook something and bring something. My family can do that. And okay. also we, can, we can look at some places that um you know um all offerings monetary offerings would be accepted as well yeah yeah that's yes. another thing thank you sister crystal we have to start uh putting aside a fund for this and Amen. we all have to start donating to it i want to um place sister miriam the deaconess as the treasurer if she won't be the treasurer um <laughs> Because the tithes and offering is separate, guys. This is something that we're going to have to give toward on the side. Amen. And amen. Amen. And, and I do have some camp supplies, y'all, because I like camp. So, so I have <laughs> like a mobile, you know, yeah. So it's like a fire. I don't know if they allow us to have fire pits and stuff like that. Too. I do have some cook stuff, too, where if they were going to cook and bring food, we could keep it warm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, good. Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we all we all got very good skills. We all got skills. So I'm primarily trying to focus on the spiritual side of it. So I need y'all to, you know, um, you know, just try to come together. Um, you know, y'all might want to start make having meetings after church, mm -hmm. you know, as time go on, so y'all can keep up with what's going on at least once a month. Amen. Amen. And, and make it a dedicated. We have to first um uh secure secure the venue, the location, and then and then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and and then we could actually contact some radio stations that have like free advertising and stuff in the area once we get it planned, so they could broadcast it on the radio. But I was gonna say we could start dedicating one Wednesday, you know, out of the month to begin just praying for the revival and lives, the Lord to send the people, you know, that we'll be able yeah. to uh, bless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. 
That's Amen. a good suggestion to um, use Amen. in the local, local radio stations and things to that nature. Yeah, so everything that y'all could get, you know, your hands on and whatever y'all think will work. Um, I'm just primarily knowing that, you know, um, these souls need to be saved. And I know we're going to, I know uh, Monique, between everybody who's in Virginia, Monique, um, mm -hmm. uh, Brother Jermaine, mm -hmm. Deacon, Chiquavia, all of y'all, y'all can start trying to get y'all a list together of, of people y'all think, you know, you can invite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Monique, quick question. You didn't been, you've been to Mount Trashmore recently. I haven't been out there yet. Is that area big enough if we can't get the on Virginia Beach on the strip, like the beach? What about hey, Mount I Trashmore? Mean, I mean, yeah, that's a big area. That's a big area as well, but we want to be near water. Okay, so it's no yeah, water at yeah. Mount See, the only thing about it is we were thinking like a building first, but when we started thinking about, you know, we got to get a pool, then we got to get clothing, right. then we got, you know, we started thinking it would probably be better if we could do it where the water is. The Just beach. baptize them in yep. the water, in the beach. Yeah. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah. Amen. Are y'all talking I mean, about that? In, in, in the book of Acts, that is baptizing everybody in the, in the river. Okay. Amen. Amen. Um, well, Virginia Beach, I think, would be harder to get the we um than, is, than Ocean View. We're gonna start with Ocean View first because yeah, so there's a lot of circulations first. with Virginia Beach. Oh yeah, well, we're gonna start with Ocean View in. first. Oh, I'm gonna have to take catch me a flight. Yes, no, honey. Yes, honey. I got no you when you get here. <laughs> I ain't taking that bridge no more. I told you yes, that I can't do that. So I'm gonna have to catch me a flight to <laughs> Yeah, that's why yes. that's why I'm letting everybody know now. Oh that's yeah, well, I'm gonna be on the plane. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. I mean, everybody try to get all your family members that haven't been baptized to yes. this event. Okay. Yeah. 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 And if, the dates and location, uh, I'll start by that you can start circulating in the area. Mm -hmm. you know, at the beauty salons, barbershops, where, wherever, you know, but I think it would be good to have a fly. So. Yeah, I was going to say that somebody can maybe get some flyers made up because you know you could do it on the, um, um, on the internet. If somebody yeah, has internet that, savvy. Machina, Machina, Machina's very good with that, so I'll get her to make a flyer. Okay. okay. Awesome. That's perfect then. Okay, so look, we got to find out first about the beach. Then once we get the okay, then we're going to go ahead full force with everything else. So right now, we're just trying to get to see which beach that we can do it at legally, Amen. okay? Amen. Amen. All right. And so then, um, as you be being um, you know, uh, be able to get the money for you going in and out, Crystal. What you say, Sister? Man, we know information. You know for for the log back in, Crystal. Cause we can't hear you. You going out and in. Okay. Hold on, let her log back in for a minute because she's asking a question about the money. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We going. You people just get what you can, but we gonna have to. We gonna have to get you know money set aside for this because this is the work of the Lord. And um, I'm, I know, I know that um, you know it's not gonna. I don't. You know, it's not gonna be a certain amount, but give all you can give because. We're going to need it for the tent, for the chairs. We're going to need it for whatever. So um, everybody going to have to start giving. Giving to the, however Miriam want to collect it, start giving to just the, what, what, what we going to call it, the building fund? I don't know, but it, for the revival fund, the revival fund. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. go ahead, Crystal. I was just saying, we um, um, if we're going to do it, maybe next Wednesday, have a meeting. Um, to kind of come together and write down, you know, um, the proposals or whatever, you know, how we trying to outline what we're trying to do. But we're going to need um, Sister Miriam's information as the treasurer.
you know, yeah. where she wants us to spend the money. Right, right, right. All right, that's fine. So um, I know Sister Miriam be working on Wednesday. So what time? Do y'all want to do it like at 7 o'clock? Is everybody available on Wednesday night at 7? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So I know Kamiko works at night, but, you know, that's fine. We'll give you the information as we get it, Kamiko. You guys, and the thing about, too, is with the chairs, you know, being on the beach, people can bring beach blankets and bring their own chairs as well. And that's yeah. food on the flyer. You know, we'll have... Now, you know what? I wanted to ask y'all. Do y'all think it's tacky if we tell them to bring a second change of clothes? Like they provide their own clothes, get that ties in? No, I think that would be okay to say. And for we'll Yeah, be because it's going to be, we don't know how many people it's going to be. Right, right. And so we would say, you know, please, you know, for those interested in being baptized, you know, bring your, bring, you know, something a appropriate. Change of clothes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. was thinking that because I was thinking like, if it's going to be a lot of folk, there's no way we can supply all of that for no whole, you know, a whole bunch of people. So they need to just bring that. Being that we do it, if we do it on the beach, that's how we're gonna do it. They gotta bring their own change of clothes. Yeah. Now, what I might be able to do is just have a supply of extra t-shirt, you know, but pick up some extra, you know, like Hanes t-shirts, you know, just to have them on the side. That because they're like, if people are in a homeless situation, you know, they just not able to. Do it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah have some you know just 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 purchase like some of the you know t-shirts for those that may need them you know and okay. uh said yeah an extra long, like an extra long t-shirt yes uh-huh yeah okay. yeah they're gonna have to be big you know big sizes because yeah. you know it's probably especially because of men you know if it's gonna be men or women like we'll the the best you probably could do is like maybe get a couple extra large than two x and three x. Exactly, exactly. Just enough. Mm -hmm. But brings to mind that you know what you know we never know what the need on of people that may be coming. You know what I'm saying? And so um, just whatever the Lord puts on our heart during prayer, whether it be bring some extra, you know, toothbrushes or toothpaste or hygiene packs. <laughs> Yes, you yeah. never needs are, you know, and we're yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like that, whatever y'all choose to do, like she yeah. said on Wednesday, we can start writing it down. Somebody could do the um, mm -hmm. Crystal, you want to do what they call like the notes, the um, what is it, the um, you know how you do, you know what I'm talking about. Record the meeting notes. Yeah, yeah, the notes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something like All that. right, so then we'll meet at seven o'clock just for to talk about the uh, revival. Amen. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. All mm -hmm. right, so Wednesday night, seven o'clock. I see everybody. Right. We talk about only the revival. Okay. So we still doing prayer on Tuesday? Not prayer. We do uh, Bible study on Tuesday. Okay, so on Tuesday we today, still have it. Yeah, we're gonna still have Bible study. It's gonna be the normal. It's just this Wednesday we're gonna have you know, a meeting just so we can really have time to talk about it and discuss it. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So God be the glory. Let me do a quick benediction. Lord Jesus, we thank you on today. Father God, we give you the honor and the glory. We thank you for your marvelous word. We thank you for all your many blessings. We thank you for everything that you have bestowed upon our lives. Oh God, we give you the honor. We give you the glory. We ask that you just bless everybody as we go on our daily routine. Oh God, we just ask that you send our guardian angels everywhere we go. Father, we ask that you just bless whatever we touch. Father, we ask that in the name of Jesus, that for this revival, Lord, we just ask a special anointing to be placed on each and every one of your children so that when we touch and reach out and touch somebody, Father, they will feel the power of the Holy Ghost. In mm -hmm. Jesus Christ's name, Father, we ask that your blood cover each and every one of us, cover our entire household. Let not yeah. the enemy come our way, oh God. Let him get smite down. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray of Nazareth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 All right. So I'll see everybody on Tuesday for our um, Bible study and then Wednesday night for the revival and then Thursday night prayer. Amen. Everything yeah. is at seven o'clock, seven o'clock around the board. Yeah. Love you guys. All right. Y'all be blessed.
Love y'all. Love y'all.